Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I advise you to make the right choice because regret can only come to those who have made that. And we understand you probably shouldn't repopulate this world. And you probably shouldn't make a choice for yourself anyway. In fact, you probably don't even like your own ass. And you're probably still attached by the bill of control. And because you're so brainwashed, I'm here to tell you how to live. Ultimatum A. Die. Ultimatum B. Live. Have you ever had a girl tell you I'm allergic to latex? Well, guess what, Sally? I'm allergic to AIDS and heroin whores. Now, I'm not no saint. I say I'm the biggest stud in the valley. Or... But I most definitely don't want to lend my girlfriend to my nephew. So, just in case, I'm going to spread this knowledge. You may have already found out the hard way, and so did I. And trust me, you'll know instantly when you wake up with that burning sensation in the tip of your pee hole and it's tied in a knot. Wishing you shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't instead. Listen, Pepe. Now I know it's embarrassing and you probably wanna die, but this is what your nuts look like. So, are you a man? Or are you gonna reach in there, grab your nuts, and let them know who's boss, and tell gonorrhea, get the back in the condom which you belong. Although there are many different types of diseases in condoms, sizes, shapes, health, even colors, ultimately death or life. So no matter which color you choose, size, girth, or weight, don't be silly, color your willy. I mean, come on girls. If a guy busts a nut in the first night, what's he trying to do? give you a disease or knock you up by some chance. I don't know guys, are you bigger than your dicks? Or are your dicks bigger than you? Are you just gonna sit there and let that mother rule you around? Or are we gonna do something about it? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe your guys' dicks are bigger than you. And maybe you're just so pussy whipped cause you just got it like that. And you're just so tough and you just bitch all these bitches around. And it may be true. But who's to say? There's a fine line between love and hate, and that's a Trojan. So, I guess if you love sharing this disease, okay Sally, let's just share it with the neighborhood. Welcome to Hefe's Book of Common Sense. Up, up, face! All right, soldiers, listen up. I don't expect you to go to battle without armor, so why would I expect you to go to the bedroom without a Trojan? So if they call it creepy, it's probably because they're the ones peeping in the glory hole themselves. Hell, maybe you're even the creep that's sending this video to your loved one that you don't want to grow up to be just like you. Do as I say, not as I do. We don't care about your racist. We don't care about your greed. We don't judge, don't please judge me. I don't care if you're just Sancho, if you're a pimp or an old whore. If you care about yourself, please, Hefe, tell us more. It's like smack yourself in the face when you pimp those whores. Please, Sancho, don't touch my girlfriend. If she don't want you to use a condom on the first night, she's probably an old whore. So how can you love anybody else if you don't love yourself, right? Like playing Russian roulette with your dick every time you try to sleep at night. It's basically a girl's world. And it's like we're just trying to convince them that we're the winners. Hell, I had to get my 99 slaps just to get that one hole, but hey, I won. And I'm gonna rub it in your face and you're gonna wish you never let me have that. Now look at me. I'm so cocky, I can go down any given back alley and swing this thing around and they'll be lining it up for miles. Finally, one girl let me know how mad I really was. So I slapped her across the cheek, let her know I really love her back. Now this wasn't just a simple mushroom stamp or a pat on the back. This was like a grand finale effect going on through humanity today. Now I know all that hip hop is devil worship and whatnot, 
but what happened to the soul, brother? You know, before all the pimps and hoes and whatnot took effect. Like, I want to give you the world, baby. Just stay right here in my closet. Maybe you got 10 closets and 10 hoes. Who knows? Maybe you got your own personal sperm bank and you're trying to build some kind of army like some kind of 3D print machine. Maybe you think you're just the biggest, baddest gangster who ever walked the earth. I don't care how gangster you think you are without any armor. You can have all the libido and pipe dreams in the world. But you ain't shit without armor or heart. I don't know, maybe you think you just got so much heart you can just afford to spread it all around the block. You can build an immunity to the antidote and gonorrhea. Or you can go ahead and try to build an immunity up to gonorrhea syphilis. I don't give a fuck. But if you truly love yourself and you truly got heart, then God bless you, she loves you back. Do animals mate for life because they're mute? Or because their actions speak louder than their words? Well, you get the point. You're not an animal, so don't act like one. A man can only be as good as his word, at least follow through. Maybe you followed through by accident because you didn't watch this video first. Anyway, the moral of this story is, respect what you love and don't treat her like a whore. And thanks for watching Common Sense with Hefe.